Macadam ellipse. In the study of colour vision, a Macadam ellipse is a region on a chromaticity diagram which contains all colours which are indistinguishable to the average human eye from the colour at the centre of the ellipse. The contour of the ellipse therefore represents the just noticeable differences of chromaticity. Standard deviation colour matching in LED lighting uses deviations relative to Macadam ellipses to describe colour precision of a light source. History In the study of colour perception, the first question that usually comes to mind is, what colour is it? In other words, we wish to develop a method of specifying a particular colour which allows us to differentiate it from all other colours. It has been found that three quantities are needed to specify a particular colour. The relative amounts of red, green and blue in a colour will serve to specify that colour completely. This question was first approached by a number of researchers in the 1930s and the results were formalised in the specification of the CIE XYZ colour space. The second question we might ask, given two colours, is how different are these two colours? Just as the first question was answered by developing a colour space in which three numbers specify a particular colour, we are now asking effectively how far apart these two colours are. This particular question was considered by researchers dating back to Helmholtz and Schrödinger and later in industrial applications, but experiments by Wright and Pitt and David MacAdam provided much needed empirical support. Procedure MacAdam set up an experiment in which a trained observer viewed two different colours at a fixed luminance of about 48 cd slash n2. One of the colours, the test colour, was fixed, but the other was adjustable by the observer and the observer was asked to adjust the colour until it matched the test colour. This match was, of course, not perfect, since the human eye, like any other instrument, has limited accuracy. It was found by Mac Adam, however, that all of the matches made by the observer fell into an ellipse and the CIE 1931 chromaticity diagram. The measurements were made at 25 points on the chromaticity diagram and it was found that the size and orientation of the ellipses and the diagram varied widely depending on the test colour. These 25 ellipses measured by Mac Adam for a particular observer are shown on the chromaticity diagram above. Extension to three dimensions. A more general concept is that of discrimination ellipses in the entire three-dimensional color space, which would include the ability of an observer to discriminate between two different luminances of the same color. Such measurements were carried out, among others, by Brown and Mac Adam in 1949, Davidson in 1951, Brown in 1957, and by Wysicki and Fielder in 1971. It was found that the discrimination ellipses yielded relatively unchanging discrimination ellipses in chromaticity space for luminances between 3 and 30 cd slash m2. Effects in colour theory Mac Adams' results confirmed earlier suspicions that colour difference could be measured using a metric in a chromaticity space. A number of attempts have been made to define a colour space which is not as distorted as the CIE XYZ space. The most notable of these are the CLOV and CLEB colour spaces. Although both of these spaces are less distorted than the CIE XYZ space, they are not completely free of distortion. This means that the Mac Adam ellipses become nearly but not exactly circular in these spaces.